Hey yo, everybody, it's OmniDog from Omni Bros Live tonight here on a Monday on the East Coast, April 30th, 19. Oh, whoops, I'm thinking about 1918 when I was born. This is 2018. That's right, I'm over 100 years old. Uh, you'll notice uh, my co hosts haven't joined me yet. I thought that I would get started and they will join me when I can. These are West Coast Omni Bros, so they're a little bit behind. Um, <laughs> uh, and one of them's computer is updating right now. So it's going to be uh, a little bit before we get these guys on. So it's just going to be the Omni Dog show for a minute, but that's cool. I can do it by myself. I'll do live tonight. Show is brought to you by InStockTrades.com, where you can get up to 50% off your favorite collected editions, loyalty discounts added extra two to three percent, and quarterly you'll get the Omni Bros Live discount that adds more than that. Over fifty dollars gets you free shipping in the United States. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's the fabulous InStockTrades.com, or as we like to call it, I. S T. They are our sponsors. Please patronize them and do that often. So we got the chat going. We've got quite a few viewers. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let's see. Let's see what the progress is of my West Coast hosts. Let's see where they are. Um da -da 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 -da. okay, they'll be coming in a second. But um tonight. I have substitute hosts because everyone else was either either sick or at work or on vacation. So it was just going to be me, but I thought, oh, let's get a couple other guys in um, that are possibly going to do a good job. We'll see. I think they are going to do a good job. But um, we can get started where I tell you about hauls, reads, and previews. Why don't I tell everybody what I read this week? And when my co-hosts get on, they can tell you what they read this week. And we can start out with, I am in the middle of Gotham City Sirens. Well, Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens. Even I, a huge Harley fan, think that's a bit much. Um, I'm about halfway through and uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. I hope to get more red today and tomorrow. Ooh, I forgot Zatanna appeared in this. This will be good. To see Zatanna. Zatanna. She's going to be appearing later. Biggie Cheese. Thoughts on Infinity War and spoiler, spoiler cast is still confirmed for Thursday, and everyone, including Gabe, will be there, right? Uh, yes, as far as I know, we're going to talk about Infinity War uh, for the first half of the show, spoiler free, and then we're going to spoil the hell out of it and talk about exactly um, what we um, thought about it. And there's Michael Curry out of Facebook jail. Congratulations and welcome back. Um, I have a question for the chat. I did see Infinity War. How is the binding in City Sirens? It's fine. Very good. I'll show you right now. Binding's really good. DC's done a good job on this Omni binding it. I did see the movie, and I have a question for the chat. In the movie, Nebula seemed like a different actress than she did in the Guardians of the Galaxies, one volumes one and two. Was that a different Nebula? Um, I could probably look that up on IMDb, but I'm too um, lazy. So you in the chat, check it out. Was Nebula a different actress? Because she looked different to me, even with all her makeup on. Or maybe she was the same, but I'll let the chat. Same actress. Okay. She looked a, a little different to me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's saying same actress. They're still Karen Gillan. Okay. She looked a little different to me. Um, I'm not spoiling it. It's not a spoiler that Nebula's in it. It's all right. <laughs> oh, she's in Jumanji, too. Oh, okay. 
okay, I'll have to check out Pix to see what she really looks like. I've only ever seen her in Infinity War and and the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy series. <laughs> I am not on the cognitive slide. I'm doing fine, Chris. Um, but somebody, uh, Biggie Cheese asked me, um, in the first movie, she shaved her head. Oh, okay. Interesting. She did look different. Well, I don't want to... Um, uh, okay, interesting. She shaved her head, and then they used a mold or something like that after that. Okay. Good. Thank you, people in the chat. I appreciate that. Um, Biggie Cheese asked me what I thought of it, and I saw it on Friday. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I don't want to say too much about it. I, we can rave or rant about it in the spoiler cast. Um, but I enjoyed it. Um, there are a lot of moving parts. I will say that. I thought they get a, did a good job of keeping all the moving parts together. Um, it, my one gripe, and this, this won't um, ruin it for you because I'm going to keep the gripe a little vague. My only gripe is that I really think Thanos' – yes, Thanos appears in this movie. That's not a surprise to anybody. I, I feel like Thanos' motivation is, was still kind of weak. I would have liked to have seen a more interesting motivation for that character. Um, that said, I thought he was great. I thought the movie was great. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, let's see, looking at the chat, yeah, I agree with Michael Curry. I'm going to have to watch it a few times to get my head around everything. I agree with that, uh, Michael. I am going to have to do that too. Um, Sledge thinks it was a solid 7.5 out of 10. Um, I will, I, you know, I don't even want to rate it because that might give it away. Um, everybody has their opinions. So I don't want to give it away what my opinion is because that might spoil it for people. Um, but yeah, it, it was, uh, I will say it was quite an accomplishment to get all those. Everybody knows there was tons of characters in it. And if you had asked me 10 years ago, if I thought that many characters could be in a movie, I'd have said no, because you could see what happened in Spider-Man three with too many villains in that movie, that movie collapsed. Um, of course, this one only had one villain plus the Black Order. Um, sorry if I'm spoiling it for you, telling you there was one villain plus the Black Order. Um, but I to have that many superheroes in a movie and have it work well, that is an accomplishment. So I was pretty much amazed at that. Very amazed at how coherent and cohesive uh, the movie could be. Eon 5D, Thanos is grieved by Titan destroyed, so his motivation is grief and an extreme ideology. Uh, okay. I can accept that, I guess. I still like the Infinity Gauntlet motivation um, best. Um, so, I was talking about we're getting off into a tangent, but that's fine. I don't care. Uh, Iron Cardner's already seen it six times. Wow. That's a long time. That's, it's probably going to take me two or three just to um, get my head around it, as Mike Curry said. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I really enjoyed it, though. Um, and so I'm reading Gotham City Sirens. I'm in the middle of reading that. And last week I read... Deadpool Minibus Volume Zero, which is a collection of his uncollected stories. Um, this book, I enjoyed. Wade Wilson's War. Let me see the stories in here, because there were some stories I didn't enjoy as much as the others. Let's see. Suicide Kings, I thought was good. Wade Wilson's War, I thought was good. Deadpool Pulp, I thought that was good. Then we get into Fear Itself, Deadpool. I did not care for that. And I did not care for Identity Wars. The last two story arcs um, in the book, I, I don't know why they included them in this book, because they just stood out as 
tacked on. Um, these are a collection of stories that aren't collected before, which is fine. But um, to me, the Fear Itself and Identity Wars books just seemed out of place. It was hard to even figure out what was going on in them, uh, to be to be honest with you. But I liked Suicide Kings a lot, liked Deadpool Pulp, ha, Deadpool Pulp a lot. Jess, where's your handsome co-host, says Near Mint Condition. I don't have any handsome co-hosts. That's my answer. And I also liked Wade Wilson's War. So the three main story arcs in this book are good. Um, I enjoyed all of them. And I didn't dig the last two story arcs. And let's see. Did somebody say something about the minibus? Let's see. The first is this is the first one. This is the third one released. They just called it zero. The first one was volume one. Second was volume two, and this one's zero. If you're a Deadpool fan like I am, this is really only for completionists. Um, I think I think you're better off getting uh, the Deadpool books by Pusen and Duggan um, and the other Deadpool Omnis. Uh, but this uh, was worthwhile because of the first three stories, and it's 75 bucks, I think. So, you know, at the time it was it was less than forty dollars, thirty seven fifty or whatever on IST. So that was a decent price to pay for it. Um, so that's what I read. And let me just check the chat. Oh, Matt Miranda, my computer is shit. That's too bad. <laughs> Near Mint Condition is already checking out. We uh, He's the sick one. He's out on paid sick leave. Um, I threatened to keep his money for this episode, but he uh he lobbied to keep his own money so i guess i'll sign the check over to him um because he is not feeling well omar is not feeling well rather omar is not feeling well uh <laughs> near mint's asking if matt dropped nemo on his laptop my uh, west coast co-host matt um we get paid no near mint condition we don't get paid um uh oh matt did drop nemo on his computer okay well so that's what i read and i'll show you my hauls and then my co-host can get on and tell me and you what they read and what they hauled first thing I hauled was the Carnage Omnibus, which I'm way excited about because I know virtually nothing about this character, and I am looking forward to reading all about him. Um, the next thing I hauled was a really cool cover for the Flash Rebirth Deluxe Volume 2. It's an ominous back cover. Rogue Run, but this is a great cover for Flash 2 with Jay Garrick on the cover, classic uh, cover from the Golden Age. And then I got Animosity by Marguerite Bennett. This is a blind buy based on my uh, love of Marguerite Bennett as a writer. Apparently, Animals become sentient and take out revenge on humans. Um, dogs, cats, oxen. Some of them are protective, I guess. But um, let's see what it says. One day, for no reason, the animals woke up. They started thinking. They started talking. They started talking revenge. So this is by Marguerite Bennett. The art looks really good. Um, I really like Marguerite Bennett's writing a lot, so I decided to roll the dice, and I'm sure I'm going to like it because I like her reading a ton. Did 
Does Flash Volume 2 include the button issues as well? Uh, I don't know about that. I think that's... This just says Flash can... collects issues 14 through 27. I think the button was its own separate hardcover. Rick Nelson asked, Jess, have you read the series yet? Uh, what series are we talking about? That's back in the chat a little bit. Um, what series are you talking about? I kind of wanted that artist. Eh, that cover is such a lie. There's barely, barely any Jay Garrick and Rebirth so far. Well, that's too bad, Clark Nato. Batman Detective Comics Rebirth Deluxe Edition Volume 2 gets released in two weeks. Can't wait. Have you read her Angela run, Jess? No, I haven't. Is that Marguerite Bennett we're talking about? Um, I have not. The button has Flash 21 and 22. So it looks like the button is contained in this. Well, let's let me open it and we'll solve it right now. Jess, I think you're pulling our leg and there really isn't a budget. No, there is a budget. I just never said what it was. Maybe my budget's kind of high. You never know. But I am on a budget. I do have spending limits. Which, when you see the next book I hold, you're going to think I'm really full of it. Because this was back before I got on a budget. And let's see. Flash. Uh, we're trying to see if the button issues are in here. And I read the button, but not yet. Yeah, they are. This is a button issue, I'm pretty sure. Batman's in it. Black cards don't have a limit, Jess. That's right. Maybe I'm on, uh, maybe I have that. A black card, a comic black card. Right. Here it is, the button. So it is included in Rebirth Deluxe Edition Volume 2. Let's see what it looks like without the dust jacket. I bet it looks cool. Oh, yeah. It's cool. Flash and reverse flash going at it. And there's a weekend geekdom. Hey, geek. Omni dog hauls and budgets. It's definitely a Monday. That's right, geekdom. So, I'm going to get that Batman Wedding Elm Deluxe Edition. I am, yes. Some people just want the button collector, not the rest. Probably as a lead in for future stories, more so than Rebirth itself. Good point, Michael Curry. Are the other dudes still watching that movie? <laughs> no, I think a couple of them have seen it twice. Um, but some people at work, and some people are sick, and some people are on vacation. I don't take vacations from this show, so I'm on. And I'm vamping for a long time. Where the hell are my West Coast Omni Bros? Here's the budget breaker that I got. You have to have clean hands to deal with this because it's white linen and it can get filthy. This is the crazy madman IDW, really crazy collection. And it contained, whoops, I'm opening it upside down. Um, first thing in this Madman collection is baseball cards or trading cards. Some of them are in 3D. And let's see if you can see 3D on the, uh, see? Put your face right up to this and look at the cards. See if you can see 3D. And then the next thing that came with it 
was a signed drawing or print, 14 out of 56. I know, I must think I'm Jake Forgerelli getting this. That came with it. And then the book itself. Oh boy, this could turn into a Nemo situation because this is a huge, <laughs> and I'm gonna knock something over, book. There it is. And let's see if I can get it out with destroying things. So I can show you. Well, this is tricky. <laughs> Madman. Quarter century shindig. Artist select. So I believe this is Mike Allred's hand picked favorite stories in this edition. Ah, we have somebody who just hit the mute button. How's it going, buddy? Nick, can you hear me? What's up? You on? Yep. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Terrible. Where's Matt? <laughs> His computer uh, is giving him problems. I beat him. Oh yeah, totally. You're a half hour late and you beat him. And he made it to work on time, made it home from work on time. But, uh, so I'm just vamping and showing off my Madman collection. This is, is Munoz, everybody, from Fresh from Laugh School out in Southern California. Nick, how's it going? Good. How are, how are you doing? I Good. really like that. Oh, man. That shipped already? Um, yeah, actually, I think it shipped a couple weeks ago, but I got oh, wow. mine just today. That's pretty hefty. It is. It's it extremely good. hefty, and um, I'm going to put it away now because I'm afraid I'm going to knock over my laptop and break it. You're going to knock over Do you have any soda? <laughs> no. You're done living dangerously? Yeah. Right on. You learned. I did. Uh, hey, look at this guy right on time. You were waiting for me. I know you were. You bastard. I wish. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's our third member. It's from like the 1980s, man. It takes forever. <clears throat> <laughs> so now we have a complete selection of Omni Bros. We have Matt Miranda and Nick Munoz from the West Coast. And Matt, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Just got off work. Uh, everything's great. What's the weather like in Stockton? Uh, it's about 80s, mid-80s. Mm -hmm. That sounds right for the beginning of May. Mm -hmm. um, so what? I've already done my hauls and reads. So what have you guys uh, hauled? What have you purchased? What have you bought? What have you paid money for to read? Or look at or play. Go um, for it, Matt. <laughs> I've I bought I don't I haven't been buying as much as I used to, but I did pick up um, Flash by Wade, uh, volume volume four. I've got that's the most recent one, um, and then I got a uh, BPRD Hell on Earth volume two, but apparently that's gonna have to get sent back because I guess there was a printing error. Yeah, um, where do you know where that printing error appears? I don't know. I just saw the email someone posted on um on the Show group. us the air. Show us the air. I don't know where the air's at. Just go and to the couple one by one. A couple older ones. I got an uh, Abe Sapien volume two. And then uh Look at that nice poster behind you. Daredevil by uh by Wade Volume Two. So that's pretty much what I've hauled recently. Nice. How about you, Nick? Have you hauled anything? I got nothing for this month. I think uh, July and a little bit of June are going to be heavy for me, but smooth sailing. 
for April. Got nothing but tuition. Tuition <laughs> and studying, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, like I said, in July, I think July is bad for everybody, right? What's what's coming out then? Like literally everything. I think Avengers, uh, Batman, Avengers, uh, Batman. What else? Uh, Sandman comes out in May, right? June. June. Um, in July or June has Miles and Runaways, I think. Mm. I can't recall. But there's like good, like four or five things that are going to come out in uh, June, July that are probably going to crush me. So I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to get, what I'm not. But for now... Tomorrow's going to be a, a big day. We've got uh, Punisher and two Wolverine Omnis coming out which we will get to when we get to the previews section. Um, and so, okay, so you didn't haul anything. You're being a good college student. Totally understandable. <laughs> How about reading? Have you read anything besides school books? Yeah, yeah. I've read a lot this month. Um, I read some Super Sons, some Batman by Rucka, Superman, uh, Rebirth, Rock Candy Mountain, and Coyotes. Killed all of those. Oh, Coyotes is supposed to be great. I, I have that on my wish list. I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I, I liked it a lot. Matt's dead. R.I.P. Matt. Did he drop oh, or... We lost Matt already. <laughs> he was only here for a second. He got nervous. Shy boy. Anyways, who needs him? He'll get back. But um, Coyotes. Is it Coyote or Coyotes? I think it's, I think it's Coyotes. Coyotes. There's another book called Coyote, but this is Coyotes. Yeah, so it's one volume. I, I don't believe there's any, any more. Um, the story ends, so yeah, I, I think that's it. It, it seemed to tie its end. Um, the art is stellar. I think, if you, I think for that alone, it's worth it. Even if you thought the story was crap, I, I think it's worth checking out for one volume, kind of like I need 50 bucks for free shipping kind of thing. That's a book to get. Um, it was good. I, I'm... I'm torn about how I feel. I think I want to reread it again since it's so short. I feel like there was a lot there, but I don't know if it was executed in a way that I love. Mm. But um, I thought the art was, was worth it alone, even if you just look at each panel and go through. I, I don't know. I, I liked it, but I, I think part of me was being a... I don't know. It felt a little edgy to me. Like, edgy. But I don't know. I think there's some substance there. I think it's worth a read, but I, I want to reread it again because I think... Maybe I was just tired or something. It didn't feel super amazing to me. What was Rock Candy Mountain about? Oh, my God. That one you should pick up. That's fun. There's two volumes. It's, uh, it's basically like this um, it's like an epic hobo fighting you know, saga. It's amazing. It was really hobo great. Hobo fighting saga? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> let, me, let me collect myself to get it real quick. But uh, basically, it's like a, an action adventure. He follows like these two hobos. Um, hobos. I don't know if that's offensive or not, but that's what they call them. <laughs> <laughs> hobos. Yeah, hobo. But uh, basically, there's two hobos, uh, and they're just in the search of the magical rock candy mountain. Can't make that stuff up. It's short. It's two volumes. It actually made me <laughs> laugh out loud a couple times because there were like they had these categories between themselves like i'm i'm a hobo that means i i work for my like living and in some way while they're on their on their uh, on the trains hopping getting free rides and stuff and they called like other people like freeloaders or something like that i can't remember what the names were but they were they had this like inner like civil war like i'm not i'm not you i'm better i'm a hobo and i just thought that was hilarious um <laughs> it was it was just really funny the art on there i could see turning people off a little bit but if you're okay with the art style, like I would definitely check it out. Um, it's a little fast and loose with it, but I think it fits the story because it's absolutely out there and so is the art. But I, I really liked it. I think that's a nice, quick, fun read. It's just, if you want to have a good time, pick it up. It, it's just, it's literally like bum fights. I've never really liked bum fights before, but this, this for some <laughs> reason, this like was all the right notes for me. Um, it, He's literally uh, it's a hobo on a journey to um, like hobo heaven, if you if you will. <laughs> I would definitely check that out. It has two thumbs up for me. Well, hobo fights. You you sold me as soon as you said hobo fights. So 
I don't know that I've ever read about hobo fights. So I, I mean, I hadn't, I hadn't either. Apparently, there's more like that, not from this particular um, author, but apparently, I can find more books like that. So I might give that a shot and just hobo be like, this fighting's is a thing. I know about. I guess so. I mean, it is on the internet, but you know what I mean. I mean, like in books with some kind of. (laughs) So I have heard. I don't know. Never partaken. Um, But yeah. Um. Besides that, it's the usual stuff for like you know, Super Sons is absolutely fantastic. Superman Rebirth, I like better than Action. It kind of. I don't know. The last volume five came out. That got weird for me. Hmm. Got real preachy in a. Action did. No, no. Um. Superman did. Have you read oh. the fifth volume? No, I've only read the first deluxe. I think, well, keep reading. It's great. It's really great. There's also, I don't remember if it's three or four. There's a nice little shout out to like Darwin Cook there. That's just, it's, if you've read New Frontier, you'll, you will love that, Jeff. Mm, you'll love okay. It. Keep reading for that. It's not spoilery. I think when you see it, you'll, it's like I, I saw and I was kind of reading, I was like, this feels familiar. And I was like, no way. And then it was that. It was great. That's as cool. big as that can be. And then everybody died. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, cool. How oh, about yeah. you, Matt? Have you hauled anything or read anything or both? Uh, no, I don't, I, I don't read. I just collect. No, I'm kidding. Um, I've read a little bit. Um, I did read um, part of the is it Green Arrow by Grell, the Longbow oh, okay. Hunters. Um, started that. I like that a lot, and I've been reading part of um, the Kevin Smith, The Guardian Devil. I'm not familiar with that one. How's that? Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's um, it's like the new. I think it's it's right before the Bendis run on Daredevil. Oh, okay. so I'm not too far into it. It's basically um, Daredevil is this kid got like dropped off at his doorstep pretty much, and this. They're trying to say that the kid might be like the Antichrist. So he's trying to decide what to do with the kid. And it's pretty deep stuff. But I got to keep reading it. But I don't know. It's my first time reading Kevin Smith. Um, I like his movies. I'm not sure if I like him as a, as a comic writer or not. Jeff thinks you should read Batman. <laughs> like high ah! I'm not falling for that. So which one? <laughs> I, wouldn't let, I wouldn't let you go down that road, BFF. <laughs> you would drive right. right in front of me. God. You would drive down to your house and just. Just smack it out of his hand. <laughs> That's right. I wouldn't <laughs> let you read it. Uh, yeah, Cuban Groove it. asks, is it true that Super Sons is coming out in hardcover collected edition? Yeah, it is. It's coming out in a little mini omnibus, I think, around the end of the year. So we got like an OHC listing, I thought, but now that's switched to omnibus? I think they're calling it an omnibus, which just means an all-encompassing collection. No, yeah. I don't have that fight. I know some people do. They're like, this isn't big enough to be an Omni. How dare you? Oh, but yeah. No, I don't care. Nerds. <laughs> so um, that's what you've read, Matt? Yeah, that's pretty much what I've read. OK, cool. I'm a notoriously slow reader, so. He's not slow. He just yeah. doesn't read anything. Mm. Not true. <laughs> So we started like 12 books to try to read and then talk about, and he hasn't finished a single one. Putting it out right now. Don't join a book club with him. <laughs> it's a book club because we're, we're all like 80-year-old old women, you know? Um, I'm going to give out the email address because that's going to be important for what we're going to talk about next. The email yeah. address is Omnibros Live at gmail.com. So get that ready, get that pulled up, because I'm going to ask a question, and the first 10 people that answer it properly are going to be entered into the drawing for the IST $50 gift card. Wait, can I enter this? I, did I show up on the wrong one? Yeah, you no. showed up on the wrong <laughs> time, because you guys are not eligible oh, to... Um, I'm leaving. I know. Sorry, it's you not, guys. You guys both know the answer to this. This is uh, because that's why they got us in here. Because Gabe and Omar wanted to win, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, they still can't play. I see you. Just because, uh, yeah, you guys are Great Lakes Omnibros tonight. <laughs> I'm kidding. It. Sorry, I didn't mean to derail anything. 
<laughs> that's okay. I, my understanding is that's what you're good at. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and let's see, I want to make sure I have the, uh, okay. I got a random enumerator. Oh, and Aiku is not going to participate because he won last time. What a okay. Thing. So do not put your answers. Yes. Doom fella. You're supposed to email the answer. Do not put it in the chat. Nick and Matt will immediately erase it and ban you from this chat if you put the answer in the chat. Right, guys? I don't know. I yes. can't do that both and speak, but I'll try. <laughs> it's Omnibros Live. That's right. The ban hammer will be out. Omnibros Live at gmail.com. So I'll have the, master, see if I can... I have the master sword ready for banning. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. So do not put the answer in the chat. Email it to omnibroslive at gmail.com. And the first 10 people to answer this question correctly will be entered into the drawing for the $50 IST gift card. And the question you need to know the answer for is, I broke my tooth on <laughs> air on what? <laughs> what did I break my tooth on? Do not put it in the chat. Email it to me at omnibroslive at gmail.com. I broke what? my tooth on what? Live what we, on the air. What if we don't? I don't even rem I remember. I remember the episode. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I think I know. Wait, let's do it in this chat. Okay, so correct. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we're good. <laughs> uh, don't put any. Uh, don't even put any guesses in there, Aiku. <laughs> uh, okay, so I will go to. Let me see. Yada dee, yada da da da. Omni Bros Live. Let me see if I can do this. Oh man, old okay. man took his email. I can see it already. Like, uh, hey, I've got it pulled up properly. Don't give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We have some right. We have the proper answers. Did anybody uh, say nightfall? <laughs> no, somebody <laughs> said crack pipe, though. Crack pipe oh. would oh. be incorrect. Uh, I have never smoked crack. Um, <laughs> I did not inhale. Does that work? No. <laughs> Well, right now we've only got one, two, three, four, five. No, four out of the ten entrants are correct. Oh, wow. All right. So this does pull on your knowledge of um, Omnibros trivia. And um, it was, uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint, it was not crack. It was no form of cocaine. <laughs> there was no <laughs> cocaine involved in this breaking of this particular tooth. <laughs> but the other ones. Well, I, I we're not doing trivia on those ones. You're only human. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, Jess broke his tooth time? on this particular thing live on an Ami Bros episode. And... There's a Jeopardy music. <laughs> oh, oh can I get it? you should ban Gabe because he's being rude in the email. I would if I could. Can we? But I can't. <laughs> the mod too. I can block him, I think. I don't know. He, g he gave you the power. That's true. I think there's something about that, like I can't abuse it against the person that gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have another minute to go. On what did I break my tooth on on a live Omni Bros episode? This was probably close to a year ago now that I'm thinking of it. 
It was a year ago? Well, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. It's all, it's almost May. Tomorrow's May 1st. I have a feeling it was probably around May. It takes a oh, full man. year to get uh, the tooth. It was this tooth. It's missing now. Oh, and wow. I'm being replaced with a <laughs> with a um, a new tooth. Gold? <laughs> <laughs> with a diamond on it. Yes, please. Please get um, it. So I, I guess it was probably nine months ago. It takes it takes like a full year from removal to replacement for a um, for an implant. Um, so let's see the things you learn. A hooker's breast. No, I'm sorry, that is not what I. I never have appeared live with a hooker, um, to my knowledge, on Omni Bros Live. I feel and like that I would be black. black. <laughs> he said not live. <laughs> right. <laughs> not on air. <laughs> oh, now Gabe, you're you're pushing the um, envelope here. If you were a regular viewer in the chat, I'd have banned you by now. I'm gonna see if I can do it. <laughs> Give him a timeout. Give Gabe a timeout. That it just says block, and I don't. I feel like that's too strong. Yeah, let's see what I can do. And I don't know how to unblock him. Report or block? Yeah, I thought we could give him timeouts. I think only like regular people. Yeah, regular. Oh, we can't people. put a mod in timeout. Yeah, you would have to probably take his powers away. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you block me before, though, Nick? Even you, weren't a you weren't a mod yet. Oh, all you right. Can. <laughs> yeah, you put me, you timed me out for like twenty minutes. Twenty? <laughs> <laughs> I think because it's yeah. in seconds, so it was just like that's the lowest seconds. Like I didn't even think about it. <laughs> but I think it was like way too many seconds. Was it really twenty minutes? Okay, that means for a little bit. I regret nothing. Okay, everybody can stop. We have um, a number of answers are correct, and I'm going to random generate these numbers. You guys should get like a giant wheel. Okay. I think that'd be fun. Number four, let's see. One, two, three, four. One. That would be... <laughs> and Andrew, oh. Andrew, that's a weird way of spelling it. Andrew Zakaria oh. is the winner of the fifty dollar gift certificate, gift card. Oh. The answer was pizza. I also accepted frozen pizza, but it was pizza that had been in the refrigerator for about an hour, and the crust got hard, and I cracked this tooth. In half. Very so you good. You were in fact eating cold pizza then, right? Yes. It was you didn't have to put cold pizza, but somebody put frozen pizza, which was close. So Andrew. Didn't you, didn't you get an infection too? Is that the same tooth? Or that was, was a that... different tooth. <laughs> that was this tooth further back. <laughs> That's getting an implant too. Very good. You guys know me better than I know me. You win nothing for that. <laughs> 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 Um, but Andrew, um, let's see, where did you go here? Andrew, you need to, Andrew Zakaria, you need to send your email address to omnibroslive at gmail.com and we will hook you up with IST for your $50 gift certificate, as my daughter used to call them when she was a wee lass. Gift certificate. Coming handy, come in handy tomorrow for sure. Yeah, it okay. will. Fifty bucks won't last you long tomorrow, but it's be better than nothing. And it goes uh, to... what's that now? No, it's for international as well, right? We go worldwide. Yes, um, I know. I have the email, but I'm not the one in charge. Oh, That's I right. have his email. <laughs> right. That's a good point. Um, but Omar is actually the one. Yeah, he may right have a there. different account. Yeah, he may have a different account. Oh, that's a good um, point. He may have a different account for IST. 
uh, than he does for YouTube. But Andrew, uh, Zakaria, whatever you want to do, send it. Uh, I can use this email or whatever email you want. But um, yeah, so Andrew, let us know what you want us to do. Omar's the one that takes care of that. He's the one that hooked us up with IST, and so he's the one in charge of all things in stock trades related. He regrets that decision, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he does. And I just want to confirm that that's not Gabe. But can we check that? <laughs> that Andrew Zakari is not Gabe? <laughs> yeah. I feel like <laughs> that's a good point. I feel like he would do that. You know, it's definitely not me. That's all I can say. Hmm. Now it's suspicious. Very. Let's see if Andrew's um, sent anything in. He said that's the correct email. Oh, he did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. We will. I will forward that to Omar, and he will take care of it tomorrow. I still love you, Gabe. Yeah, of course we love you, Gabe. Okay, now here's the part of the program where Word. everybody waits for me to screw up. Oh. And that is when I screen share the previews. <laughs> yeah. I believe in you. Close the tabs. <laughs> All right. Let me double check. Okay. All my tabs seem normal. I believe in you. You got this. <laughs> so let's see. I need to Omnibros file. And I'm going to go to screen share. We're going to talk about previews. Screen share your entire screen. Oh, let's see what he's got. I see pictures of dogs. I said, whoa. Um, let's see. Then I need to highlight me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Keep it like that. And then I maximize. How's that look? That's good. Okay, so you can see the previews right there and the discounts. <laughs> Wow, you just broke it. Yep. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> You've got a doctor's appointment uh, on the second at 10 a.m. Yeah, I do. So. That's that's with the tooth doctor. Dr. Oh, okay. Golden right there. <laughs> tooth doctor, not dentist, everybody. <laughs> no, we call them tooth doctors here in Virginia. Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> after we go after we go to the uh, up to the moonshine farm, <laughs> we go to see the yeah. tooth doctor. Because they've all rotted. <laughs> Because, you know. Um, so we have. Oh, now this is supposed to be good. Agents of Atlas. That has been uh, both uh, Riley and Sherlock have talked up Agents of Ala of Atlas to me. So that is one book. Here's Adventure Time for those of you that care. Mm -hmm. Don't know about Alone. Don't know about Amazing. Animosity: The Rise. Local comic book store day. Hmm. Ooh, might be rare. We better buy them. I don't know. Yeah. If is. is that this coming weekend? Local comic yeah. store day? I think yeah. it is. It's on May 5th, isn't it? Oh, that's this weekend. Have yeah. they shared what, like, what exclusives they have coming out? Because I know they've in the past they've had some stuff like the Klaus hardcover and then the IST ice. has? No, just the local shops. I don't know if there's anything. I haven't really heard of anything being advertised oh yeah i don't know uh, after this i'll go look up local comic store day and we'll see what um cool, cool. i'll try and screen share that archie oh. avengers assemble bears tooth black clover bleach color your own deadpool crossroad Ooh. blues dangerous journey everyone's getting married that's about nick <laughs> it's volume eight too, so like it's been a long saga. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, yeah. Is that Future the big Quest. one? It's hardcover, yeah. I think it's the Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's twenty bucks. Or thirteen that's not bad. No. 
Anyways, it'll still be like fifty dollars. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have that space. Green Arrow, hard traveling hero, rebirth. I might be interested in that. Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner for you, Kyle Rayner fans. Who? They Carly still haven't Carly. made um, the Green Arrow hardcover, right? They just Correct. They got rid of it, and they were like, "You don't want this. Don't. You don't know." Yeah, I I think that's a mistake. I think, I think so. everybody loves Green Arrow and, and really wants to see it um, in a hardcover. I mean, I've, I've heard nothing but good things. I, I was going to probably pick that up, but I think I'll read it and then decide when they never when they never put it out, I guess. Yeah, I, I think that's a mistake. I think that... Um, I think I'd like to see Deathstroke in a hardcover. Um, That'd be good. I heard that's very good. Yeah, Red Hood and the Outlaws I'd like to see in a hardcover. And what else hasn't got a hardcover that I collect? Aquaman it was good. For Geo. We need we need Aquaman. Right. Hellblazer Hell Hellblazer was awful. <laughs> That's the new even... fifty two stuff, right? Or no, the um Rebirth? That was that was the Rebirth, yeah. Rebirth Hellblazer, not good. Wasn't happy with it. Oh no. They're really struggling with uh Constantine to try and figure out Try and get him back to that classic character. Who was writing uh, him? Do you remember? Uh, somebody Oliver. I don't know. Eh. Yeah, I don't know him. But he's not. Uh, he's not getting it right. Mm, milk and cheese. Thing. Dairy products gone bad. That I love. I love milk <laughs> what is, and cheese. What is that? I've That's never... by Evan Dorkin. That's a uh, from the '90s. Milk and cheese. They're these animated. Really violent dairy products. They're, <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> it, oh, they are so great. They go around with knives and they're just cutting things up and attacking people and beating How nerds up and stuff. They're How these. Do you like something like that? So vile. <laughs> what does that say about you? But I have no morals. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you feel better, here's My Little Pony. That'll make you feel better, man. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, Legends of Magic. Yeah, yeah Matt, Matt's actually a brony, so um, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> Don't not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh, there's a, a brony. <laughs> there's one piece as well for you, Jess. I know you're you're very current on that. Yeah, oh, oh 80 volume 86. I need to get that for my other 85 volumes of one piece, <laughs> so I can have a complete set. Yeah, it'll be your whole house. <laughs> they're not even they're not even halfway done with it either, are they? They're like approaching that, I think, at best. That's crazy. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what everybody's been waiting for. Punisher Max by Garth Ennis, Omnibus. Garth Ennis, controversial subject this weekend on the page. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it. I have, I have morals. I'm going to pass. Yeah, okay. Uh, I already own it in the hardcovers, so I'm obviously amoral. 50% um, <laughs> off. That's going to be a good deal for that book. It's excellent. I, I read pretty, complete collection. It's excellent. That's a pretty thick book, right? Like 60 yeah, I, issues. I, I think it's only going to be the first half, maybe oh. volumes one through three or something, and then volumes four through six, although I don't know that Ennis did Punisher um, volume six. I think he just did the first five, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I think, I think six is, um, is Jason Aaron, I believe, isn't it? Oh, I'm um, not sure. I'd have to reach over my table, and I'm sure I'd knock over my laptop. So because I think in the, in the complete collections, the volume six is the um, Jason Aaron stuff, the, the trade pick, trade backs. Hmm. Um, okay. Uh, well, if it's if it's, I think it's by somebody else. Volume six in the hardcovers. So um, I think it's just volumes one through five. So that's probably a couple omnis right there. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's see. She-Hulk, Jen Walters Must Die, Spread. That's a good story by, uh, I think, Justin Jordan. Mm. Um, or, How's the Han Solo stuff? Has anybody read that? I have not read it. Mm. Oh, Straight Bullets. Are they reprinting that? Sunshine that and Roses. I want a hardcover of that, an omnibus of Straight Bullets. I yeah, don't if, I don't know if we'll ever get one though. I would buy that in a heartbeat. 
Suicide Squad, only I care about that. Everybody with taste, don't get that. I have no taste. Tales At least you know that. So What's you don't that? Go mas- At least you know that. You don't go masquerading around that this is the best thing ever written. No, I wouldn't recommend anybody get it but me. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm the only one I would recommend that to. And even then, I'm sort of ambivalent about it. <laughs> And uh, goes some, some Cinebooks, Ultraman. I'm sure that appeals to somebody. Valerian, Volume 22. Walt Simonson, Battlestar Galactica Art Edition. I don't know about that. 150 bucks. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know he was on that. Oh, he's or neither. He just, like, maybe he did covers or something? I have no idea. Mm, I don't either. Uh, here's $125. Book knocked off 50%. That would be Weapon X Omni The Return. And uh, it's followed up by Wolverine Goes to Hell Omnibus Hardcover. That's a $100 book. Um, You get 50% off that. Boom, from IST. And that is uh, going to be a Rye Commendation. After I read Red Hulk, Riley is recommending Wolverine Goes to Hell Omnibus. So how many of those are you going to be picking up, Jeff? Um, well, okay. I'm going to pick up the Hobo Battle book. <laughs> oh, please do. You, I, think you'll, I think you'll enjoy that a lot. <laughs> and then we have Zero Hour Crisis in Time. I might get that. I want to I find out more about it. Um, so what? Zero Hour Crisis in Time, that's from DC. That also gets 50% off. Fair enough. Um, I need to find out. I'm getting Wolverine Goes to Hell Omnibus, Wolverine X, The Return Omnibus, Suicide Squad, Rebirth, Don't Anybody Else Buy It, Volume (laughs) 2. You should just buy them all. That way no one else can buy them. (laughs) And then I'm also getting um, Hobo Fighting and Coyotes. (laughs) <laughs> That'll be it. And let's see. Yeah. I That'll be a good review for you, I think. Demonize, um, and I stop. <laughs> that looks so That's trippy, man. <laughs> okay, okay, I did it. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Go to. Yay, me. You're going back and forth to different dimensions. Right. Yeah, it's like that scene in Star Trek with Ray in the in the K- Star Wars. Sorry. Oh, he's out. You gotta kick him out. <laughs> Ban me, put man. In, put him in timeout. Yeah, Jess actually becomes the mouse that you're seeing moving. That's him. It's actually Jess. <laughs> thank you. Gabe says, great job. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You um, it. Um, let's see. Six is indeed Aaron, okay? Oh, okay. So then it would just be the first five. First five, public. right. Or two volumes, huh? I think so. Yeah, just... I, read the first, I read the first two uh, complete collections, and I dug it a lot. I, I've never really been a fan of the Punisher as a character, but the Max run was really, really good. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever read anything by Punisher. I've read some stuff with him maybe in it, like as a just a side tangential character, but not not with his main title. I can recommend the Becky Cloonan Punisher that's uh, fairly recent. I am on board as saying this was a Rye commendation too, and it's great. It's three volumes. Yeah. Becky Cloonan nails the character. What's Riley at? He's 12 for 12? He is uh, 11 for 11. The 12th recommendation is Red Hulk. And then the thirteenth recommendation is going to be um, reading the Jason Aaron Wolverine. So before I read Goes to Hell, I got to read the first Omnibus. That's uh, out of print, right? I Mike. believe it's light. Is it lightly out of print or really out of print? Um, I don't know. I haven't really looked. Someone asked Gabe. Shows the Gabe diamond. diamond. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Isn't Aaron's Wolverine pretty long? Um, well, I think two the, I think this, yeah, I think the two Omnis covers everything. Oh, that's not bad. Not too bad. 
So then that's just like the proper volume, uh, the proper like uh, volume one. And then is there another one or is the other one um, Wolverine and the X-Men? Or do we not include that? Um, that's a separate book. Oh, gotcha. Wolverine and the X-Men, that's also out of print. Yeah, I wish I would have picked that one up. Actually, all those Wolverine Omnis are out of print. Now that I think about it, I think the Mark Miller one's out of print too. Yep. To varying degrees, those are all out of print, which is weird because he's their most popular character, arguably. Yeah. And the Wolverine by Greg Rucka paperback is out of print also. I'm sure it'll all get reprinted. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, that's a good about point. The one? That one's also out of print. Are all the Wolverine Omnis out of print? I think so. Damn. I'm looking at four of them right now, and I'm almost positive they're all out of print. I know the Frank Miller one is. And the Chris Claremont, Frank Miller one. Yeah, yeah, that's a big whale right there. Yeah. That's got a lot of material elsewhere, though, doesn't it? Uh, I think it's got... I don't. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just presuming. Cause isn't some of that in the Volume 3 of Uncanny? Like, doesn't they have some of that stuff? Or is yeah, it all yeah it's got the miniseries, the Claremont and... um. And Miller main series, the, the four issues, I believe. Gotcha. What about um, Volume 4 of Irredeemable? Yeah, I'm surprised Volume 4 and Volume 5 are both hard to... <laughs> Omnipole. All I know, Irredeemable 4 is out of print. People are blaming Jess. Get those commission checks, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's going on there? I should be getting I should be getting a commission. Um uh, I I guess volume four is out of print badly and volume five just got released a couple weeks ago and it's already out of print. That is well, surprising to me. I didn't volume four didn't even come out that long ago, right? It's like maybe beginning of the year, if that five five just came out in April. Volume four. Oh, volume four. Yeah, I think you're right. Beginning of the year or end of last year. Some, yeah, somewhere in there. But those must have been really small print runs. Um, I yeah. I do they? Do you think that they just print less of the like four? I feel like a lot of books have four out. I can remember Ex Machina was out on four. That was a pretty hard one to find. Just it's usually it's usually things. the middle volumes, like three and four, are usually pretty. Or, I think people it's, drop off. I think like I know Starman. Is it, I think it's three and four yeah, are the real hard ones to get. Yeah, I think what happens is volume one always gets a large order, and then retailers order less of the next volumes based on sales, and so it just progressively goes down Yeah, um, because more people buy the first volume, I guess, of a book, and then that's why you see so many threes and fours out of print, 100 bullets, two and four out of print. Um, yeah. Let's see, DMZ, I think the first one's out of print. Mm -hmm. um, one of those. You were right about Last Man are still good, right? Aren't they? The White Last Man hardcovers? They're pretty, they're still in print, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think they're still in print. Ex Machina, you're right. Volume four, I think you're right, is the hard one to find there. Yeah. Um, I think, though, I thought people in the group were saying that Boom, even Boom was was cleaned out so maybe they just don't print as many yeah gabe is saying one or four one and four back ordered of irredeemable but stocked five is gone wow oh. that was fast <laughs> maybe if this sells well they'll release it in another format what if they like finish the bigger one would you guys the, be pissed <laughs> the definitive oh. edition yeah <laughs> i would be pissed <laughs> but what if they sent you one signed by mark wade uh that'd be cool I'm gonna see him in Baltimore. So if they're not, if Irredeemable is not reprinted yet, I will ask him in person, dude. What's the deal? <laughs> also, where's don't, my chat? Don't do it on Don't do it on Twitter. You might get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah, and BPRD Plague of Frogs three is the really impossible one, and now four four is hard also, and I think even two is hard to find now too. Yeah, I don't think they'll reprint those. I think you got to get the trade paperbacks on. I think you're right. Uh, let's see. I can pull up the free comic book day list. Oh, yeah. Let's see okay. if I can find that free 
comic book day. No, you guys, wait. What did I do? I didn't do it. It wasn't my fault. Whoops. No, not you guys. It took me to Wikipedia. To Wikipedia? Very helpful. <laughs> How do I look up? What is the internet? Yeah, that was that was my fault. <laughs> Free comic. The only thing I do know they have is they do have a um, a lying a lying lying cat bloody lying cat uh, pop. For oh. Day. I just want Hazel. Like I, I just want a Hazel one already. But they gave me it like as a baby, but I want like a free she's old. Spoilers, she's old. Um They have okay. the whole line though, don't they? They've got Lion Cat, they have um Marco. They've got most they've got most of them out, yeah. Okay. I have the list here. I will since I'm so good at it, I will attempt to screen share the free comic book day. Twice uh, in one stream. Look at this. What's that? Twice in one stream. <laughs> I am getting cocky. Screen share. Let's see. All rude, uh, rude tabs are closed. <laughs> share. You. Oh man! Did you see me? More the weird effect. Oh, here we go. How's that look? And just, I have a question I think I want to ask on behalf of the audience. So free comic book day is when we can go into any store and get free comics, right? Uh, any, star, any store that's participating. I've been to stores on free comic book day before where they don't participate. So you need to check before you go because this actually costs retailers money. Yeah. They, they got to pay for these things and not all of them participate. So... Um, uh, right, but you can just get any comic. Sorry, book Gabe. For free. Sorry, Torpedo. What? No, you can't get any comic book for free. I thought it's, Gabe was saying that. I no, you can get you can about. get these yeah. comics for free. They say free comic book day on them. As you can see right here, there's an Archie. There's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Top Secret Gold Book from DC. Overwatch and Black Hammer. That's interesting. Black Hammer, there, Nick. Where? Oh, so. Sorry, I was trolling on the thing. Oh, okay. Where do you see? You see Black, Black Hammer here? Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Yeah, I got <laughs> with like Overwatch. What's happening? I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I gotta start reading the new stuff that comes out so I can both tell you guys if it's good or if it's terrible. I can't imagine it being bad. Here I, don't even, I don't even know if my comic shop will have a free comic shop. Free free comic book day. My shop's kind of depressing. <laughs> Third Eye Comics gets over eight thousand people to come to it. Whoa. That's why I don't even go near Annapolis that day. Yeah, I wouldn't either. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Strangers in Paradise. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, that started up again though. That's oh, my gonna... that's my only whale I I need, really. What? Right, that omnibus. That omnibus, yeah. Ooh, Lady Mechanica. I love Lady Mechanica. Bongo, that's good. Simpsons, Adventure Time. Die, kitty, die. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> You just saw women scantily clad, and you're like, "What is this?" Right? Yeah, that's up my alley, right here. What's that about? about? Bob's Burgers. Um, Berlin. That's a great book. Oh, I got James Bond. Is that uh, Ellis's? Uh, yeah, Warren Ellis, right here. So there'll be a free comic for that. That's really cool. It seems like it's actually got number ones of things that aren't just random cartoon shows, you know? Not yeah, right. Really it, but that's pretty sweet. Meta Baron. Ghost in the Shell. The Worm World Saga. The Tick. Tick? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think BKV is going to be near you. 
this weekend, Nick? It's gonna be in my in my house. It's gonna be close. <laughs> it's gonna be down there in uh, the Golden Apple. Oh, that's not too far. Oh, Golden Apple's still open. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I found uh, Matt's. I found Astonishing X Men Omni for Matt. He did. Oh, that's right. Felt like I was stealing stuff. Well, how long ago was that? Yeah. I was like uh, in, two years ago or so at least. Okay. Yeah. You got it for co- you got it for cover too. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure they were gonna upcharge me, but they didn't. And then he, really... he the funny thing he had just bought one for himself off of eBay, like not even like maybe a week or so before that, and he's like, oh. yeah, I should have just <laughs> told you it cost that much and then sold it. To you. <laughs> sold it to him. I would I wouldn't have even cared. <laughs> Should have sold it on eBay for seven hundred dollars. Yeah. My Hero Academia. Oh, right on. That's cool. And there we go. Those are the hmm. things available for those of you who are into that. Going to your comic book store, getting free comics, and let's see if I can go back. Yada ding. Stop. And there we go. Now I got to go back to the chat. You are crushing it. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're you can, you're officially a professional now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, so that is it. We did hauls, we did reads, we did previews, we did free comic store, free comic book day. Um, so uh, we can open it up to the chat if you want to ask uh, me and or the West Coast Omni Bros, the Great Lakes Omni Bros. <laughs> oh, any questions? We can uh, do this. Uh, we can open it up to the chat for another ten minutes or so. Yeah. That works for me. Let's see. Did we have any questions while I was um, gone? Oh, there's Drum and Dart. What's going on, Drum and Dart? Oh, let me see what we got here. Let's see. A viewer asks, how did you all get so ridiculously good looking? Oh, wait. That was Nick. (laughs) I don't I don't know who that man is. <laughs> we all grew beards. It's true. <laughs> it's that is true. It's hard work. Somebody's gotta do it. That's right. Um so we've got Gabe in the chat. That we do. Yeah, just told Gabe that we might be heading out to Vegas in the July or August. Oh, okay, cool. I think August. Yeah. You both are? Yep. Yeah. What's going on in Vegas? Anything in particular? Just having some fun. Oh, really? yeah. I just want to roll into Vegas and live the Vegas lifestyle. We're gonna be we're gonna bug um Gabe. He's gonna ask for some free comics. Yeah, free CG <laughs> free free CGCs. <laughs> yeah, I totally can hook it up. So, right just on, tell man. One fell, just tell him one fell off the truck. It's gonna be like Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> uh, Gabe says that he needs to grow hair on his head. No, you're good, dude. You look fine. Although I've never seen him with hair, so I would like to see an old picture of Gabe with hair. That'd be interesting. <laughs> That would be cool. Yeah. What if we've never had hair? Let's see. I don't think we got questions. I think they're good. I think we killed the chat. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I think I lost him on free comic book day. <laughs> oh, maybe. It's fine. They know that I, I don't actually read comics, so I don't know. I can't answer any of their questions. I thought that was me. Let me see. Did we talk about what you were reading? Me? He, yeah. he did that. He did it by himself while he was. 
Oh, oh, was oh. I not there? Oh, my. Yeah, I was on the air by myself. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> I just assume I'm always on time. I was watching it from my phone when my computer was trying to boot up. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I've read, I'm reading Gotham City Sirens, and, oh, I, and I read Deadpool Minibus Volume Zero. That's what I read. Right on. Oh, we actually got a question. Yeah, good one, too. Look at that. So, Nick and Matt, how long have you been collecting? I hardcovers. I think since 2014, so not too long, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty new to this game. I think it was around. I think summer of 14. Yeah, just about there. I think the first thing that I got. Mm -hmm. I think Spider-Man Blue was one of the first ones that I picked up. What about you, Matt? How long have you been collecting? Um, pretty much right around the time we, I think it was around the same time around when we joined the group. I think it was like 2014. I think the first Omni I got was, um, New X-Men by Morrison. I don't know. Been collecting ever since. When I got my first Omni. You yeah. Didn't buy them. That was true. We're at WonderCon. WonderCon. Cheap graphic novels dude was there. He was trying to like, you should buy this Uncanny X-Force on me right now. It's out of print. I'm like, well, bro, you have like 10 copies here. He's like, yeah, but it's not going to be here forever. <laughs> what was he asking for? How much was uh, he asking? I think it was like 40% off or something. It wasn't yeah. horrible. Was it 40 or 45? I don't, I don't think know. we knew about it in stock at that time because we were still using cheap graphic novels, no. which sucks for we, us here in California. Because no, no, I remember checking it and being like, I know this exists. But I was like, it turned out just being like a little bit extra. And I was like, hey, I could have it in my hand right now for like $6 more. I'll pay that. And then it was like out of print like the next two weeks or so. Yeah. <laughs> so he was kind of right. Wow. Yeah, I was one of the... So that one and um, Hickman. You got New X-Men and Animal Man, didn't you? Right there? No, no. I got a Planetary. I got right. New X-Men and I got Uncanny X-Force. And then my dumbass had to carry all that back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this isn't worth it. It was worth it, though. And then I just put them on my shelf, and I've, I've never touched them since. You know? <laughs> Good time. No, no. I've read those, so I, I've I read those. talk about that. That's why I was happy to see the uh, the planetary one, because people should read that. But I, I agree with what you guys said for the most part. It's something that I know personally I read early on that I shouldn't have. I should have read it like now. It was yeah. still really good, and you still—it's fine. It's just like you were saying, like you can really appreciate a lot more when you have some experience. Yeah, it like hits you on different levels, right? If you read this many comics, you get this experience. If you read that much, you get a better experience. I don't think you lose anything. I just think you gain so much more if you have a breadth of comic knowledge. Nick Backus has a good question. I have Batman Rebirth through Volume 5. When should I read the button? Um, I read the button after the first Batman Deluxe. So that would have been the first two, probably the first two trades. So, um, but I don't, I think I you can read it even before. I'm not sure that you have to wait. I don't um, think it, it ties in as much with the main story. Right. We can play with your part later on, but not in the Batman story. Yeah, I think it's more of a Flash story than it is a Batman story almost. Um, you can... Yeah, I think I'm, you can read I'm, it I'm Suicide's the next arc. I don't remember they even mentioned anything about that. Or, I don't yeah, think I don't, the Batman title touches it. I think it's pretty... Because I've read pretty much everything to current on Batman, and... Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was like, what happened? It's, yeah, it's excellent. It's the excellent. Flash book has both uh, button issues in it. Um, oh. So I think it's more of a Flash story. So you're okay to read button whenever you want regarding Batman, uh, Nick Backus. That's such a great cover, though. I really love that cover. Yeah, Clark Nader was saying it's kind of a lie that Jay Garrick's hardly in this at all, but that's okay. It's such a great cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, it doesn't look great though. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see. I. Where do you get all your posters, Matt? Ooh, oh. Uh, a lot of them are from the Mondo. 
um, poster site. They also do um, vinyl. They've been doing collectibles like toys and stuff as well. Now they had stuff for like Batman the Animated Series going for a while. Uh, but a lot of them are, are from Mondo or there's a couple other galleries in like LA and um, New York. I think one's Bottleneck Gallery and then the other's Hero Complex, but that's where I've got a lot of them. Mm. And that's where a lot of my, my money goes. I'm not buying books much because some of the stuff's not cheap to frame up. But I'm out of that game completely now, so <laughs> got a that's pretty, like pretty good little his, collection. That's one of his best posters, like right behind him. I love that one. Drive. So yeah, I don't know if you could see it. I gotta probably talk to Yeah. Not fun. Is that a Mondo, the drive one? Yeah, that one was actually. Uh, I have a shout out to Be uh, to Beto. He picked up that one for me when he was at MondoCon a couple years back. Oh and yeah, yeah. It's, it's he's within the same state, so yeah, he can go he, to Austin. He's the poster hookup if you really need a if you have like a gallery show or any of the cons, just to you know, give him a shout out. Andrew, the winner, Zakaria, says, I know the art is epic, but how is the story for The First Kingdom by Jack Katz? I just bought that set, so I actually haven't read it. That's a question for Omar when uh, he's on Thursday. You can ask then. Um, he's the expert on Jack Katz's stuff, First Kingdom. Um, that's what I would do. I would. Omar's the one to ask that. I'm not... I mean, I own it, but I haven't read it, which is, of course, a game to play with shots. <laughs> you guys would be totally drunk if uh, I should do that someday. When I have Omni Bros to myself, I'll we'll have that drinking game. I own it, but I haven't read it. <laughs> I play that game too. I think you I can might, mess some fools up. You might kill people. <laughs> like, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> That's a dangerous game. Uh, Gabe asks, what's the one thing that can enhance someone's collection display? Toys, lights, better shelves? Um, you know, I, I have toys on, like, every shelf, and I, I really don't know that it enhances that much. I think it detracts from my books. Um, but I have to justify owning this many toys. <laughs> and so displaying them is the best way I can do that. I've got Pops and Marvel Legends up and some DC artifacts, Kurabayuka ones. Um, but I would, yeah, I would say a little, I have too many toys. I think a l few toys is probably fine. That would probably help your display. Yeah. Because a statue like or two wouldn't be too horrible, you know? You could find What's them that? reasonably priced. A statue or two, if you could find one reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the more minimalist, minimalist approach is just like a couple accent pieces. I, I think putting nice shelves in will go a long way, I think. That's what I want to do, ultimately, when I have the space. Just put something nice and sturdy in there that, that can really, it just looks nice, like a piece of furniture, rather than, I mean, Ikea shelves are great. That's what I have, and they work. Yep. I think I can do better. Alex. Yeah, I mean, that's the workhorse, right? Mm-hmm. But I think for me, statues are just a little too big for me. I, I, I don't think I could justify it. Because I would just, I would be like, oh, my God, there's there's this statue. I feel like I'd knock it over, too. I don't know. <laughs> I would just hate that. Like, if I had something that big and it broke, I'd be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Follow-up, what's the one thing that ruins the display? Confusing organization, clutter, we need tips. Well, I have, my collection is in no order whatsoever. I mean, I have Spider-Man sort of collected here, but there's also Spider-Man over there. There's Wolverine there, there's Wolverine there. My DC collection is sort of together. Over there's Batman and below is Superman and then Green Arrow. Uh, I'm sorry, Green Lantern. And then below that is Rebirth. And then my independent stuff is all over the place. Uh, I And I think that I, I organize by format more than I do character. Like all my Marveline, Marveline all my Marvel <laughs> omnibuses, omnibies, omnis are on one side. And I, I group all my paperbacks together. I group all my oversized hardcovers together. 
but the characters are kind of all thrown together. I do have the Marvel Omnis in um, alphabetical order. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, if Riley were to come here and try and organize my collection, his eyeballs would blow out of his head. He wouldn't even be able to deal with it. Like Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. They go... yeah, that's funny. I kind of do that as well. I don't really have like a structured order. I think that's just a space issue for me. Maybe when I have more rain, I'll do it. But I don't know. It's never really bugged me. And I don't think my collection is so huge that I need to like go to the A's or something like that. But maybe when it gets bigger, that becomes like a bigger issue. But I've never had a problem finding stuff that I need to look for. But I think, it, I mean, I'm looking at your what I can see from the back. But maybe that's just the portion in uh, in order. I mean, it doesn't look crazy or anything. It looks like you have titles, mm -hmm. like, like titles mm -hmm. together. Like maybe like all of Nightfall together and then all of Seven <laughs> Smith's Batman. <laughs> um, <laughs> It broke. We're losing. We're losing connection somehow. <laughs> it broke the internet with that comment. <laughs> I try to organize mine by writer for the most part. Which is oh, kinda, by writer. But it's it's a mess. So it's like you can't really tell different publishers all together and stuff. Yeah, I'm. I wish I could be more organized. I've seen Riley's collection and it is perfectly organized. So. Mine is sadly not. I do have all my absolutes put together. All my super oversized ones are put together. Same. Uh, but that's, I mean, I don't know. I just have too many books. I think I mean, that's a can, size thing. It's a what? I think that's a size thing with absolutes because mine are also like that. They're all together. Mm -hmm. Just because they don't fit with the other stuff. At least mine. Yeah. You can see my Akira box <laughs> is still sitting there. Is it nice and sealed? Yeah, it's still it. nice and sealed. Yeah, you can see it's still got the seal on it. That's how we know. Um, He's a scalper. I, I get it. <laughs> I still need to read that. It's quick. Oh, so do I. It's really quick. It's a quick read? Yeah. I mean, manga's a quick read, I feel like, in general. But I read, I like blasted through the first volume, and then I stopped because I just had stuff to do. But it was very, very quick. Like, I think I could probably knock it out. I should do that and then yell at Matt for not reading it. And then we can yell at you for not reading it. <laughs> yeah, I'm the prime culprit. <laughs> what do you prefer, Billy or Kalax shells? I've got both. I like them both. But the Kalax are such a great system. I mean, it's a beautiful shelf. Yeah, I think I'm team uh, Kalax. Yep. I, I, I've never seen that then. I, I know the billies, you can kind of overload them. Mm -hmm. But I know they're just a wider uh, bookshelf, right? I've got skinny billies. The, oh, billy, okay. the ones behind me are billies. They're the wider, low to the ground. But then I've got... These are skinny billies right here. Oh. Yeah, those look fine. Tall and oh, skinny. Boy. Yeah. So That's they're the fine, chain. too. They, That's the chainsaw need, boy. What's that? Yeah. That the, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, like right the, I like that hobo. He, he's just like hanging out on the side of the library editions there. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I've got Hellboy and and young Hellboy hanging upside down. Right there. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Cuz that's the only way I could get him to stay up. Oh, is that the He's, he's doing like his night his tail. Tail. He's doing his night yeah. color in person. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, past 10 o'clock my time, and because I'm old, I have to get to bed eventually. Right on. So here's a good chance for me to throw a plug to our sponsor, InStockTrays.com, where you can get up to 50% off your collected editions. Loyalty discounts add a couple of percent to that. You can get free shipping if you order over $50 in the United States, which is amazing when you think about it. Uh, how heavy those books can come. I imagine yep. that racks up a pretty hefty tab. Um, it just takes so long to get here, though. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous customer service and great packaging. That's InStockTrace.com, our sponsor. 
Guys, do you have anything to plug? Anything you want to tell uh, the audience? Do you have a no. website or a web address or a web presence at all? Just usually on one of the one of the groups, one of the many pages. But yeah, thanks for having us on. You can see me trot around the hop and spot and skip that dupe comic community. I think that's its name. But other than that, no, you won't <laughs> find me anywhere. Thanks for being on with me tonight, guys. This was great. I really appreciate having you guys would uh, volunteer to be on, and it was great having you on. Anytime. Anytime. Thanks. Anytime. I, I'll try to be there earlier next time. but <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The audience forgives you. Same. And so do Thanks I. For having us. And you can find me, uh, besides Omni Bros Live, you can find me on Omni Dogs Vault on YouTube or on Instagram, where I haven't posted anything for three weeks, so I need to get <laughs> doing something about that. Omni Dogs underscore Vault. So it's Monday. On Wednesday, we'll have the Wednesday show, and then Thursday, we'll have Spoilerama for Infinity War, where we will talk oh. about Infinity War and... We'll talk the first half about our thoughts in general, and then the second half will just spoil the hell out of it. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate your being on. This was a great broadcast. And thank you to the chat for coming uh, here and participating. This was great. Thank you. And peace and love, peace and love.